I'm Cadet 2nd Class Max Villarreal, and I'm the cadet in charge for the Air Force Academy Drone Racing Team. The drone racing team started about two years ago. Uh, received, we received some funds from a donor uh, to go and compete collegiately with other schools in uh, racing competitions. And we've been flying uh, constantly each year here in the uh, indoor football stadium, practicing, going through courses, uh, flying as fast as we can, getting the fastest times on the leaderboard, and uh, competing with other colleges around the nation. I started this hobby when I was a junior in high school. and. Um, I came here and I was looking for clubs and Colonel Neff, our officer in charge, I saw his table at uh, something called Blue Rush where they do all the clubs and stuff. And um, that day, so I signed up and had a little bit of potential. So I came here, joined the team. I did build a drone back when I was in high school and that just kind of really sparked my interest because I just, I love drones. I love the experience of flying through the goggles. It, feels like you're really up there in the drone. Uh, we accept pretty much anybody who's enthusiastic and uh, we help all of our team members along the way coming from no experience to now they're flying full five inch uh, quadcopters and doing really well on these tracks. So we're, we're a very hands-on team. Uh, we consider ourselves a family. Uh, this is a sport. Uh, you're, you're on a team but they're also your family. We, we help one another uh, build and um, get faster each day. We do tryouts at the beginning of the year and we have them fly in a simulator and depending on how well they do in the simulator, they, uh, they get transitioned into a little drone called a whoop. And it's a little drone like that big. It's a lot more forgiving when you crash. Pretty easy to fix and replace. Once they get handled with that, they get moved up to like the base model. It's big, uh, spins five inch propellers. Um, that, that one could really hurt somebody, so you have to have a, a certain amount of skill. So usually the races are conducted. We'll have all the pilots on one starting line and that'll be right before the first gate. And as soon as the race starts, they will pass through the first gate and then make three laps around the course. In a race, you know, you're trying to go fast, but you also need to not go so fast that you overshoot your gates or, you know, just completely go out of the bounds of the course. So the learning curve is pretty steep. There is a lot of material to try and grasp hold of because to be a pilot, you kind of need to be a mechanic. Um, because you need to know about the electronics and how to build stuff and you also need to know like, how to fly so there's a lot of hand-eye coordination there. It was definitely challenging starting off learning to fly the drones because when most people think about the drones they have experience with the ones that level themselves but these they will stay in that, that angle position so you have to learn to know what angle you're at and how to maintain the flight. The team does have a lot of um, like base models that we use for the newer pilots and um, once you get a little bit more experience and you just learn more about the hobby, pilots tend to build their own and um, that's how they get started. It's given me experience in learning to program flight controllers, uh, learning to fly through a camera, which I have been thinking about doing RPA after I graduate and I believe that this would help me. There's quite a few members who would like to go to the uh, RPA community. Um, I myself would like to fly uh, fighters, but it, it varies uh, depending on acquisitions, uh, logistics, RPAs, pilots, uh, systems operators. Um, Air Force is, is big, so uh, we're glad to be serving and we're happy wherever we, we end up after graduation. <laughs>